All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today. And I'm going to show you the results of these videos so you guys get an idea of what we're going to be doing. So you can see that I'm, I have my hands as, a, as I'm basically separating my hands from each other. The particles change its size. So I'm going to be walking you through this. I'm just going to let it play so you guys can watch the whole video. What I wanted to do with this video is be able to basically move my hands and as I move my hand, the particles are going to be increasing. And the way that I'm doing this, I'm basically calculating the distance between, you know, one hand to the other hand. And then I'm, I'm basically getting the absolute value on the distance. And that's why this is working so smooth. So I want to show you the graph and, and some of the things to consider when working on and making something like this. Also know that this is going to be available in github so you guys can download it for free uh probably by mid next week is when i'm going to be making it available so just make sure that you check my github page and i'm going to have that available so the graph is just getting a little bit crazy it's not it's not too complicated but there's just a lot of things going on in here i have you know and i show you this in the previous video that i had a component that was basically exposing all the different properties so if you go to the hierarchy and we concentrate on the scene you can see that I have the left hand and also the right hand. I also have this VFX manager, which is uh, basically has a visual effect and it has these visual effects, which is in the project. So if I click on it, you're going to see that it shows you that. On the previous video, I show you how I created this one and, and how it worked. This one, I wanted to do a little bit more by just exposing, you know, a few transforms so that I could basically do my calculation here and make this matrix work. So if I go back to the hierarchy and we look at the VFX manager, and we expand this just a tiny bit more. You can see that I have that new visual effect. I also have more properties in this one, like I was saying, because I need to expose the left hand and also the right hand. So if we go and look at the graph, and I'm gonna try to make this, let's see if I can just make it a little bit smaller so that we can see that we can see everything that is happening, and perhaps something like that. We don't need to look at this, just know that I am basically exposing the position for the left hand and also the position for the right hand. So these are two transforms. So all I needed to do was basically just add two variables by clicking in here and then selecting transform. I name one left hand and I name the other one right hand. Just know that because I'm gonna hide that piece. That way we have more space in here. So this is a graph and I'm not gonna go too into, you know, how to do visual effects graph because I have an entire series dedicated for that. So make sure you watch that series if you're not familiar with, you know, how visual effects graph works. For those of you who know how it works, or if you just want to take the chance and understand it, basically you have different nodes, and this one is, has a rate of 155,000. I also have a capacity of 250,000. This actually works really well. I, I was surprised that the Android Oculus, the Oculus Quest was going to be able to handle that. It actually handles it really well. So I also have a property that it's buying to the radius here on the position sphere. And then most of the work that I do for the left hand is I have both of the components, both of the nodes in here, I can get closer a little bit. One of them is going to be for the left hand and one for the right hand. And these are two transform nodes. Like I said, you can right click in here. You can basically just search for transform and you can just select transform position. And that's basically going to give you one like that. And that's, that's really what I did. Added one for one hand and one for the other hand. And then I wanted to get the distance between those two. So one way that you could do that is just by using a subtract on a vector three and that's what i ended up using i, I have the position on, on a and the position on b and basically that's just calculating the the distance between those two i didn't want to have negative numbers so i wanted to add some math and then you know use an absolute absolute value which is going to basically make it always positive and and uh, i get the value from a and b which is the subtraction and then i convert it to an absolute value once I have the absolute value, that absolute value might not be big enough. So I wanted to basically do uh, a multiplication on an offset. So what I'm doing is, you know, whatever this value is, I'm going to multiply by three. 
So I grab the absolute value by grabbing a, a multiply node. I get the result of that, put it into A, the result of the flow, and then put it into B. And, and that way, if I want to exaggerate this, let's say that I wanted to multiply this by five, and I were to compile the graph, and we go here and we just you know change the, the difference, what's gonna happen is because that is getting multiplied, the difference between these two is getting multiplied by five, the smaller that I that I go, you know, on distance between both of the hands, the the bigger the the distance is gonna be. So if you want to make this an exaggerator, maybe maybe you want to exaggerate it by 20. You can see that now, you know, it's just very very big on the exaggeration. So if I want to just do something like that, then then I'm basically you know grabbing the the difference, multiplying it, calculating the absolute value, getting that node into a multiplying node, and then multiply it by 20. So I think three for me works well specifically because I want to be able to stretch my hands, basically separate my hands quite a bit before I see a difference between those two. And and what I'm do, do at the end, I get the result of the absolute multiplied by the flow value, and then I get it into a result. That result goes into a radius. So you have a lot of different options in here. If you want to you know play around with other properties, you can do the abstraction speed. If I want to change the attraction uh, uh, speed, you can do that as well. You can see how that is changing the graph. In my case, I found that this works really well, so I left it alone. And then I just changed you know, a couple of different properties in here to make sure that things were gonna work. But the key for these videos, just know that you have to, you know, you have transforms that are coming from the hierarchy. And there's really no code in here. And the reason why there's no code is because I'm using what's called a visual effects binder, property binder to do, to bind the position of this object and then connecting the position to the graph. And how do you do that? That's what I'm gonna be showing you next. So if we go here and you have you now have the left hand and the right hand, let's say that you want to bind those properties to you know to something in your hierarchy. In my case, I needed to add a property binder. So what you need to do, you basically need to just add search for property binder, which you can see in here by you searching for VFX. And then what you need to do is you need to buy bind the options. So I went in here and select the transform. I wanted to bind a transform position for the left hand and one for the right hand, so I added two. And then I just type in the value of the property that I wanted to bind to and also the target. So in my case, I wanna bind the left hand, which you can see in here, to this target, which is going to be the left hand target. And then also the right hand with the, you know, the right target on the, on the hierarchy, which I'm using the OVR custom hand prefab for the right hand and also the left hand. So the results of these are really cool because it's going to show you what you see right now, which is this right here. Let me go into my desktop. And then you can see what it's doing. I can show you here. I can stretch my hands, I can look around. I just feel like a magician, I really enjoy. So I'm just gonna play this video so you guys can watch it. And I'm gonna stop it right there, guys, because I think that's everything that I wanted to show you. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys.